everybody, what's up? This is Lonnie Mathern with another Christian prepping video. Today it's Government Stew. Uh, Market Street Classics Premium Beef Stew, it says on a package. My wife is friends with this elderly woman and she gives us the stuff the government gives her. You know, uh, a lot of the old folks don't like this stuff. You know, uh, I'll go to a church and it's mostly old folks, and they bring the stuff in and put it in the food hoppers at church, and the church in turn donates the stuff to the city food banks. You know, so anyway, we're going to give this a shot. Premium beef stew. Okay, so what I have happening here is a brick rocket stove that I built. And you can get this thing, uh, you can fuel this thing with sticks and twigs you find in the backyard, but that's a bit of a pain. You have to keep on feeding the sticks in there to keep the fire going. So I'm just going to heat up some, uh, I mean, get some lump charcoal going right now, get some nice hot coal, some nice burning ambers, and use that to heat up my government stew. Now, usually these prepping videos don't go very well because I just do them off the cuff, you know, spur the moment. I happen to have a day off and I you know, feel like doing a prepping video and everything goes pretty, pretty badly a lot of times. You know, I don't want people to get the wrong idea, you know, I'm not prepping for the end of the world, you know, the end of the world here is there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to clamp down on you no matter, no matter what. This is your short term emergencies, you know, a hurricane scenario, maybe you lose your job. It's just a good idea to have plenty of food on hand and a heat source, a way to cook your food. And water. A lot of the freeze-dried food requires water, so you're going to need tons of water, you know, if, if the, the city water, water supply goes, goes down or gets cut off somehow. You're going to need water, so that's the main thing. And, you know, uh, you know, we do have a madman in the White House right now. You know, anything's liable to happen in the middle of, middle of a government shutdown, and Sorry to disappoint all you uh, Trump worshippers, but the, but the cat's a madman. You know, if you're not led by the Spirit of God, you're a madman. Okay, I can't believe how many people just, you know, uh, blindly are worshipping this dude, you know. And, yeah, because he throws the Christians a bone every now and then. You know, he's going to throw the conservatives and the Christians a bone. And you're going to just think he's uh, the greatest thing since sliced bread. But, you know, your life can end tomorrow, man. Your, your job can end tomorrow. Anyway... Here we go. All right, this looks pretty good right now, so let's just uh, pour this in my in my rocket stove. Okay, so this is gonna go down in here like this. Ow! There you go. So I found this in the front yard. I, I have no idea what this is or where it came from. I found it while cutting grass. I'm gonna use that as a burner. Hot. And over here is the government stew. All right, let's open this stuff up right now. Oh, yeah, baby, look at that, okay. All right, tell you what, let's get a little bit of water in here. This is my water water uh, tote. 
holds 250 gallons of emergency water and you treat it with just a little bit of bleach you know this has been sitting out here for I think about four years maybe maybe three years don't really know but uh, the water is still good because you treat it with uh, bleach and you can look up the formula the ratio um, bleach to water ratio if you want to so here we go just a little bit of water that's good Okay, it feels pretty hot to me. All right. All right, I think it's hot enough to try, so let's give this a, let's give this a whirl. And I'll tell you what I think. I'm try not to burn myself. Rather bland, first impression. Uh, I guess you could jack this up with seasonings. A little salt and pepper, maybe some hot sauce might be nice, but it's uh, not a lot of good beef chunks or potatoes or carrots. I guess you could add your own potatoes and carrots and maybe add your own... Uh, uh, let me try something. Stand by. All right. Uh, I got some freeze dried beef seasoned hamburger crumbles. Here, we're going to add some freeze dried uh, beef to the stew here because it's a little, and, and it's very bland. So I got some Tony, Tony C's here. Um, so this might jack it up a little bit here, get this thing out of here. So a little bit, don't want to go crazy here. Okay, there you go, add some extra beef in here. And just kind of reconstitute it here. Yeah, very, very weak on the potatoes and the carrots too, but I don't have potatoes and carrots handy right now. I guess add a little bit, got a little bit more here. I'm going to add a little bit of Tony, Tony C's here, Saturies. Give it a little kick. So pretty much had no taste at all. Maybe the, it is low sodium, but they dishing this out to old folks. Looked like a pretty high sodium level to me on here. My wife is insisting this says low sodium on a package. Okay, but it doesn't. See? It's a Mandela effect. She's telling me one thing and I know another. Okay, she would swear to it if I went in there right now that this package said low sodium on it. But it doesn't. So I'm right again. Alright. Now this is more like a, I guess, a review video. Not really much of a prepping video. You know, I mean, except for making a fire here in a brick, brick rocket stove. Check that out, baby. Oh yeah, nice and nice and hot. Okay, let's give it a try. Try now. I think uh, my sausage should be uh, ready by now. Beef crumbles that I put in here. Okay. Yeah, it is a little bit better. Okay, a little more. Uh, beefy now, a little bit more hefty and solid. Okay, but I think I still need a little bit more seasoning. Okay, there you go. 
And I guess I could take this to, you know, I really don't want to eat this, be honest, but, you know, I don't like to waste food. So I guess I could take this to work tomorrow and uh, force myself to eat this stuff here. You know, because this is not what I normally eat, you know. You don't eat, you know, I got a lot of canned food inside too, you know. And I'm going through that trying to, you know, get a can of vegetables and, and you know, you got to jack it up though. You know, you drain all the sodium out of the can. I have, have a green bee recipe that's pretty cool. You got to really wash uh, those green beans when you take them out of the can. And I got an idea to jack them up, up and maybe one day I'll do a video about that. But I've been trying to cycle through the cans open you know I don't like to eat canned food but I'm stuck with all these cans because you know we bought all this canned food you know uh, you know for, for for prepping purposes and gotta go through that stuff but you know you gotta really watch your health man of that stuff man this is probably very unhealthy but I'm gonna have to eat this anyway uh, tomorrow somehow you know let me give it one more try All right, the seasoning is starting to kick in. Has a little bit of flavor now. A little more substantial since I added the beef crumbles into here. So yeah, it's not terrible, but really not my cup of tea. You know, but who... I mean, God only knows what's in here, man. I mean, and as per usual... A lot of the ingredients in here I can't pronounce, you know, so. All right, Lonnie back here with Chairman Meow, and you know what? It wasn't really that good, was it? Uh, not at all. I'm sure if I was really hungry or if I'd been on a long hike out there hiking five or six miles to escape the new world order, that would taste like some pretty good stuff there, but it didn't. And I have options right now, so I'm picky. That's the way it is, and the God really uh, takes away everything you have. You know, then you're going to be thankful for the government stew. You know, but right now, I'm, um, I'm doing okay, and, you know, I'm a little cocky, so that didn't really taste too good. But praise the Lord. Uh, just make sure you have some extra food on hand, some water, a heat source. And if you haven't repented from your sins of trust in Jesus Christ, uh, uh, repent. Get, get right with God. Read the Bible. Get a Bible. Ask for help. Ask for the Holy Ghost. If you have a sin you're having problems with and you just can't seem to stop, well, throw yourself in the mercy of God. You know, you might have to initiate a fast or something. You know, get, uh, try to uh, uh, ask the Lord to help you with that besetting sin. You know, I know how it is. But, uh, you know, you, you got to get right with God uh, before the hard times really start here in this country, man. You got to be ready to go. The Bible says, and there goes Chairman Meow. First Peter, I think it's 4-7, the end of all things is at hand. Be sober and watch unto prayer.